Hi, I'm Rob Spinner. I'm one of the peripheral nerve surgeons at the Mayo Clinic. I'm professor of neurosurgery, orthopedics, and anatomy at the Mayo Medical School. Today we're talking about peripheral nerve tumors. These are masses either within a nerve or compressing a nerve that typically cause symptoms. These are usually neurologic symptoms such as numbness or weakness or pain. Patients usually notice a mass or something is uncomfortable when it touches them in that area and they usually are referred after an imaging study shows some type of mass. These tumors can be benign or they can be malignant. The most common tumors are called schwannomas. Uh, other types of tumors such as neurofibromas are nerve sheath tumors. Either the schwannomas or neurofibromas can be isolated, meaning that they can occur by themselves sporadically. Occasionally they can also become manifest by syndromic features such as a neurofibromatosis or schwannomatosis which the patient may or may not know about. The treatment of these nerve tumors or nerve masses uh, is twofold. One is to diagnose it. The second is to treat it if possible. Diagnosis can often be done by imaging characteristics and the patient's history, etc. Uh, sometimes, however, tissue diagnosis is needed before you operate. Typically, on these types of lesions, operations and surgical resection is indicated if possible. Uh, surgery is indicated if the mass is large and symptomatic or if it's growing. In addition, sometimes if you're worried that something is growing or may even be malignant, then that would be an indication for some type of diagnosis. Oftentimes, however, patients come with a certain size mass that is symptomatic, and in those cases, surgical resection would be the mainstay. On occasion, some type of biopsy would be indicated before the surgery if you're worried that a tumor is large or could be malignant. Most of the times, however, if the characteristics on imaging appear benign, then one would typically just resect the tumor. Mayo is a special place for certain reasons. Number one, the imaging capabilities are really quite excellent here for several reasons. Uh, firstly, we have radiologists who are specialized and interested in these types of unusual lesions. Secondly, uh, we have advances in high-resolution MRI with multiple planes. We have custom coils which help imaging capabilities. We also use post-processing techniques in order to do three-dimensional reconstructions. All of these make the surgeon see things that ordinarily may not be seen. The other thing, the other advantage to uh, coming to Mayo, I think, is the surgeon's interest and skill with these types of lesions. I think it's like many other surgical conditions where the more of something you do, the better you are at it. We see a lot of peripheral nerve tumors. Pathology is very important, and our neuropathologists are especially keen on uh, examining even small bits of tumor. Finally, there are some unusual conditions which aren't tumors, they're lesions or conditions. And we've seen a whole host of things ranging from benign processes like inflammation to malignant tumors such as lymphoma or uh, breast cancer or prostate cancer in nerves that were not diagnosed. Here I work closely in conjunction with our neurologists and the neuropathologists, but especially with our radiologists. Uh, and here we work as a team in a multidisciplinary effort in order to diagnose the patient because here with these types of unusual lesions, a multidisciplinary approach may be indicated. Related to these unusual lesions, in fact, they're really not that unusual. With uh, Dr. P. James B. Dick and his colleagues in neurology, we've seen close, close to three or 400 patients in whom we've done targeted fascicular biopsies where we take just a small piece through an open procedure and we've been able to diagnose a whole spectrum of unusual conditions which previously uh, didn't have a diagnosis and in fact were thought to be idiopathic. In these cases, an extensive workup had been negative. People had signs and symptoms consistent with a progressive neuropathy, and yet a relatively small, limited biopsy uh, done in this way can be accomplished safely 
and uh, efficiently, providing an answer and sometimes treatment implications in all cases.